So, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Chemistry Nobel Prize has been given to Akimov, Bruce and Bavendi, Bavendi for their work on Q dots, Q dots, huh? see what is, what, what are Q dots basically? Uh, Akimo, Bruce and Bavendi and Bavendi obviously was given for the production method of uh, Q dots, quantum dots. See basically what are quantum dots? Quantum dots are primarily semiconductors, semiconductors. And what is the property? The property is the size of the Q dots determine their optical properties, optical properties means uh, the bigger Q dot bigger q dot will absorb or emit the light towards the right side. So, larger the size of q dot wavelength will be towards red wavelength wavelength huh? shorter the size smaller the size of the q dot wavelength will be towards blue chota q dot blue ki taraf bada q dot red ki taraf okay that's it hmm? and generally their size is 3 nanometer to 6 nanometer like cadmium sulfide cadmium selenide, cadmium telluride, <laughs> cadmium sulfide, cadmium selenide, I will write my non-science students, cadmium sulfide, cadmium selenide, cadmium tell you right hmm. these are some of the examples and their size is 3 nanometer to 6 nanometer if it is above 6 nanometer so they will not exhibit the you know the optical properties okay fine sir to sir is called q nobel prize diya gaya is the Nobel Prize diya gaya because of the applications of the Q dots. First application of the Q dot which you should remember will be in LED displays, LED and displays known as QLED, quantum light emitting diodes. Huh? There are already televisions in the market with this. Second thing, second thing <coughs> about these quantum dots is to improve the efficiency of the solar cells to improve the efficiency of the solar cells. See what happened in solar cell, the sunlight which is coming, the sunlight which is coming, this is a, this pen is a photon, photon light bundle huh? and say this finger is the electron. So, photon is absorbed by this electron and we were hoping that the energy of this photon absorbed by this electron will be passed on multiple electron and they all will be excited 
and will have the current. But then what happens this photon it is absorbed by this electron, but after that it is not able to pass on the energy to the other electrons. So, one photon is able to eject one electron photoelectric effect solar cells. So, here what might happen the photon will be absorbed by q dot and q dot will pass on this energy to multiple electrons ok fine that is the second part of it. Now, listen next part here we need to say that q dots will have the applications in health care and biochemistry. In healthcare, we can use for diagnosis and drug delivery. Now, drug diagnosis and drug delivery hmm, uh, goes this way that uh, if you see, if you see that uh, what they did, these people did. Ye log bhi kam thodi bhi dekho, kya -kya karte hai? So, there was a cancer patient, cancer, usko tumor tha, koi bhi tumor tha. Ab body ke andar toh hum gus dekh nahi paate, hana, MRI CT, uh, we all go for MRI CT, but we all know there are certain limitations of each of these things. So, what they did, they injected the Q dot, they injected the Q dot in the body of the cancer patient, my goodness, and then these Q dots these q dots were moved towards the place where the tumor was my god and these q dots accumulated accumulated deposited on the surface of the tumor then what they did they took the lasers lasers and they took the laser which are not absorbed a b huh? which are not absorbed by our tissues means our tissues do not absorb this laser and means this laser was able to pass through our tissues and but absorbed by the q dots and then after some time q dot emitted the light and we were able to see in the body of the patient my goodness this is the diagnosis part huh? And drug delivery, exploit Q dot ko bhi karenge. Hum to insano ko exploit kar lete Q dot kya cheez hai. To phir, humne ab kya gaya? With the Q dots, we attach the drug. Usse dawa chipka de. Hana? So, sir, then, and then obviously when the Q dots were deposited on the surface of the tumor, they deliver the drug also. So, drug delivery, my goodness, that is amazing. Now, listen, they are being used, uh, this will have an important impact on catalysis also. Catalysis means catalyst uh, for the chemical processes. Chemical processes because if you, as you all know, smaller the size greater will be the surface area if i grind this pan into nanoparticles we all have solved this question in 10th class or 8th class or 9th class mathematics hmm? there, there was a big uh, shell hmm, made of uh, any material hmm? and it was con converted into n number of a small small spherical shells hmm? And we were asked to calculate the ratio of the surface area of the bigger shell with that of the smaller shell hmm. to combine surface area of the smaller cells and the surface area of the bigger shell. We all know the combined surface area of the smaller shells is greater than the surface area of the bigger shells. Similarly, here hmm, more the surface area greater will be the rate of reaction catalysis my wonderful thing ha acha ek aur suno tum isko hum kahan aur le ja sakte hain see we can use this q dot 
we can use this q dot in one more thing that is semiconductors hmm. that is semiconductors so semiconductors chips indian semiconductor mission you all know every other day you keep on reading about the semiconductor part yes so that that will be wonderful thing to happen hmm. so akimov bavendi and the bruce got the nobel prize hmm. it will have applications in displays biochemistry semiconductor solar cells quantum ah so it will have the applications in semiconductors now semiconductor here means the chips chips चिप्स का मतलब अंकल चिप्स और लेज की बात नहीं हो रही ना ही हल्दीराम की बात हो रही वो चिप्स सेमीकंडक्टर इंडियन सेमीकंडक्टर मिशन 10 बिलियन डॉलर पीएलआई जो है ना वहां पर दिस इज द फ्यूचर एंड वन मोर थिंग यू आर फॉरगेटिंग यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड क्वांटम कम्युनिकेशन क्वांटम कम्युनिकेशन लाइक यू ऑल नो वी आर हैविंग नेशनल क्वांटम मिशन 